My name is Robert Love. I work for the Department of Technology Services for the state of Utah. I'm assigned at the Department of Workforce Services. I'm a development lead of a team of 10 developers that's responsible for the unemployment insurance in the state of Utah. Well, Delphi uh, originated in Turbo Pascal, and I started in uh, Turbo Pascal 3.3, and I have been using uh, Delphi uh, ever since. I mean, ever since it, it, was, it was released, I really didn't get my first um, Delphi job until Delphi 2, but uh, I purchased a copy of my own on Delphi 1 and, and used it then. Uh, I like um, uh, probably the language, most of all, and, and how fast it makes things. Uh, I, I love that, that it's um, based in Object Pascal, and I love that uh, it is a fast uh, development environment. I like to tell them uh, how it, it basically does everything native that you would need to. So when you have to get to the hardware, it's better uh, than Java or .NET could ever be, um, and it it's a uh, um, it's as fast as C, has the power of C, with no complexity. Uh, we've um, uh, integrated with several um, uh, different devices over the years. Um, we have a signature pad that uh, when we go out and do an audit on. Uh, uh, we need some the, the person the company that we've audited signature, and it's just a little uh, pad, um, and uh, we've interfaced directly with the hardware there. We've also done it uh, 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 with different scanners, um, using both their native APIs and the Twin APIs. But we've been able to integrate uh, directly to various uh, 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 technologies that way. It's a quickly evolving, uh, still supporting everything that it's always done, uh, technology. Um, Everly seems to be huge in, in where it's going. Uh, the XE release uh, uh, finally supported encryption, which is huge for us, uh, and has allowed us to um, you, um, build um, data servers uh, that uh, offload the client uh, um, technology. So basically we can get N-tier with Delphi uh, with little cost or, and, and with little, um, how, how do I explain it, uh, not, not a lot of a work uh, involved. We have a workflow uh, management system um, and uh, basically that workflow management system uh, takes items that come in and then uh, we have, uh, and then we'll flow them, basically we have a, a Visio-like interface in our app that they'll flow through. So if you were to design a, a flowchart, it will flow uh, through that uh, dynamically. And that's actually on the back end, all based on uh, a data snap type architecture. My responsibility for the client apps is uh, uh, anything that manages our business. Our business uh, is unemployment insurance uh, for the state of Utah, and we uh, uh, manage the paying of taxes, so bills that go out, the collection of those taxes, overpayments of benefits for unemployment. Uh, we, uh, it's a pretty extensive application um, and has um, uh, evolved over time to handle all of the various needs of uh, uh, an ever-changing law in that area. We use a little bit of uh, C++ Builder, but mostly just to compile um, open source projects uh, to integrate right into Delphi. It works out really well um, and gives us the OBJ files so that we can link right in and, and have uh, good native uh, interop with those. Uh, and then we use Prism extensively. And we use it to build uh, web services primarily uh, and uh, deal with uh, uh, our external uh, facing um, uh, web services that we need. 
Uh, it is. It is a very good choice. Uh, uh, Delphi itself, we have some native Delphi uh, web services, and those are, are, are good too. Uh, however, uh, we do find that it's pretty darn fast and easy to do the ones in, in uh, uh, Prism. And it leverages everything that the .NET framework has without having to do that. One of the things we have is, is we have an application that is um, uh, written in Delphi 132 on the client, and we have a web service that is in Prism, and it's using the same code on both sides. Um, and so it's cross-compiling between .NET and 132, and it's making uh, our lives really easy to move back and forth. 